All right, what's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to talk about the brand new Limit Break expansions that are arriving to global and uh, as of this video going live it actually should already be up by the time you see it so that's awesome. Uh, brand new Limit Break expansions are going to be uh, arriving and I'm really looking forward to this badge because we see one of my boys is in there so hopefully he's really really good and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We're uh, going to be shouting out my man Godot for putting the IDs of all the characters here that we can go ahead and just find them a little bit easier okay so we are going to start off with the legends first first of which being v2 big mom definitely uh one of those old school characters doesn't see that much play now but it's still relatively okay um so let's have a look at what this character gets with the expansion so 900 health 430 attack total uh and then 145 recovery total with the expansion addition okay uh, captain effect does not change unfortunately and stays at a regular 10 turn cooldown that's it really oh my god okay no just skip this one easy skip we don't even need to keep talking about this like this is just garbage do not waste your limit break materials on this character if it got cooldown reduction it'd be a bit better but absolutely awful however the next one's going to be kind of cool v2 doflamingo now we're still waiting on this guy to get a six plus and he has the potential to potentially get one like honestly like probably within this year he could probably receive one and this would be a pretty interesting one to get a get a super evolution for so let's see what he gets so he gets 500 health 200 attack and 50 recovery pretty good so far captain effect does actually change okay so he says boost the attack of driven by 4x if they've got a matching slot 3.5 otherwise and then health by 1.3 lowers chance of strength orbs makes decks and quick orbs beneficial to all characters this is a really good upgrade because you can see that this sentence is no longer here with his expanded captain effect so you don't need a full team of driven characters anymore you can run any other characters you want he's still going to boost just driven by 4x which before it was 3 3.9 with a matching slot and uh 3.25 otherwise going to 3.5 otherwise and uh the actual the actual health is slightly increased going from 1.2 to 1.3 times like this is a really good upgrade for the character and he gets minus three cooldown now of course his special ability is the divisive part of this character because obviously under normal attacks only it's a useless special ability so we're really hoping that when he gets a super evolution that you know this is altered in some way or they add additional effects to it so even though normal attacks only would be present this still might be a little bit more useful so uh, it's still not bad though like this is a pretty interesting uh limit break expansion honestly uh, and obviously we see everything here the minus three cooldown the stats and the better captain effect not a terrible limit break expansion honestly not terrible could be better though but of course we're just waiting upon his super evolution now the next character apparently is not actually in this uh in the database but v2 katakuri is getting a limit break expansion and yeah it is not listed here but let's go ahead and have a look at what katakuri has so v2 katakuri with his expansion he gets 200 attack 500 health and 50 recovery and minus three cooldown right so he goes down to a 12 turn cooldown and he ca his captain effect will actually change so it becomes a 1.85 times booster to each of these classes which means that if you have a character with both of these classes they get a 3.44 or 4225 it's a very weird number um, previously it was 3.33 so it's only a very small increase to his attack multiplier and if they uh, have both those classes they get that boost and then he boosts the color affinity of those characters by 1.4 as well that is not changed and then makes strength sight recovery and tandem beneficial and then recovers 50 percent of the damage that you took in the previous stage when you move on um, it's not that big of an upgrade, honestly. Like, when you look at his captain effect, like, it, it's literally just the attack multiplier that got increased. The uh, color affinity didn't, didn't change. Um, like, the matching slots didn't change. The recovery didn't change. What I would have preferred is if they lowered this multiplier of the color affinity and then increased the attack power of the base unit. Maybe make this go to 3.75 and then like lower this value lower so that it still equates similar to this, but just make the base power a little bit stronger. Because that's always one of the big issues with Katakuri is that if you're not attacking with type advantage, he basically does like no damage. So that obviously sucks. But minus three cooldown for his special is pretty cool um the additional stats are always good um i've already limit broke expanded v1 and v3 katakuri so i feel like i'm almost obligated to go ahead and limit break expand this character um i might do it then use him in some content see how he goes but uh you know v3 katakuri or v2 katakuri should i say this is again another character that doesn't have 
a super evolution. So this could be one of those really interesting ones moving forward to see how they kind of mold him in the future with a super evolution. Could be very, very interesting. Now, the final character that we're going to be talking about in this video today, in terms of the legends, is 3157, which is going to be V3 Akainu. Uh, V3 Akainu is still pretty good. It doesn't see too much play these days, but on paper, a pretty good unit. And the effects are not listed here. So shout out to Godot for listing it here. But unfortunately, this is a pretty bad expansion because he only gets statistics. 200 attack, 500 health, 50 recovery. So with his stats, like, just, no, just, just don't do it. Do not limit break expand V3 Katakuri, uh, V3 Akainu, should I say, um, because he just doesn't get anything for it. There's just absolutely no worth in doing it. Definitely lackluster character. So those are the two Sugofest exclusives that we've gone through. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the three rare recruits that are getting ex expansions as well. So 2864, Gin and Krieg, which is a character that still sees a lot of play in today's day and age. So Gin and Krieg, what do they actually get from their expansion? They go down to an 11 turn cooldown. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. And they just get some additional stats. So minus one cooldown. And they do get ship bind duration, which is not a very useful effect. I assume it removes two or three turns of it when it's completely maxed out. Um, and in terms of statistical increases, they get 200 attack, which is actually pretty good. A little bit of health increase is always nice as well. I think this character is honestly worth it. And especially if you pull lots of dupes of this guy, you'd probably want to save them and max out that ship bind soon as you can but like that's this is a, this is one that i would probably do because this is a character that sees a lot of play in guard challenges like the 10 star difficulty ones very very good for that um got a great switch effect like honestly getting krieg are just a fantastic rare recruit character in general so next is dex alveda so 2839 this is another character that's like okay it doesn't see a lot of play but it's actually really good on paper um so alveda goes down to an 11 turn cooldown as well and what ability does does alveda get sailor despair so fear resistance what are her crewmate effects reduces special bind on decks and int characters by two turns like that is such a good uh sailor effect um i think this is without a doubt worth it just because of sailor despair and like that being such a unique effect just to resist special bind on two colors by two turns all the time like that is ridiculously good um very worthwhile character yeah for sure like don't even have to look at anything else like that is completely worth it uh, the next one, though, is a rare recruit that basically sees no play, which was the Bartholomew Kuma that came alongside Mihawk and Perona and V3 Rayleigh. So this guy, I mean, let's have a look. He goes down to a 10-turn cooldown, which is cool. It's kind of nice, but for a special like this, it just doesn't see that much play. He gets shipbind as well. Like, I mean, it's fitting for the character, but um, not a very useful ability just in general. Um, it's just he's not a good character at all. Um, absolutely not worth it, unfortunately. So, like, it was a relatively shorter video because there aren't that many characters to talk about, but definitely Ginn and Krieg and Alveda specifically. I think Alveda is probably the best one here. Um, 2839 is that ID. But in terms of the Sugo Fest exclusives, it's such a shame that a lot of these Sugo Fest exclusives just, they just don't get enough of, of an upgrade. Like, V2 Big Mom should have easily gotten a new captain effect. Like, remove the color condition would have been fantastic, but I guess for dual units, I'm not too sure how they're going to be dealing with those moving forward. V2 Doflamingo has a great uh, limit break expansion, better captain effect, um, lowered cooldown as well. But of course, he has that issue of just being a very mediocre character. And we're really, really, really hoping that he gets a six plus in the future. And that's the same with Katakuri, man. Katakuri, two, three, six, five. Um, would love to see uh, V2 Katakuri um, getting, a, getting a super evolution in the near future, giving him an updated special ability and potentially changing some things with his captain effect. Uh, that would make an expansion of this guy well, well worth it. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section are you going to be expanding any of these characters moving forward during this month or maybe in the future some that you will have to uh you know account for in the future trying to stockpile some some materials for them but let me know hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video